Hey guys, it's yet another video and I know it's quite soon after the previous one and from my point of view it's been getting better and better progressively with each and every one and my excitement has been um, increasing with each one especially for this one because it took a very very long time to come and currently the one that I'm about to unbox today is the one that I have been anticipating the most. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time in building up suspense or hyping it up because most likely I have put the name of the puzzle in the title so there's not much point in trying to hype it up. Um, I think the word unboxing is a bit of a misnomer because it didn't come in a box. Um, I mean obviously it did come in one of those generic cardboard boxes but um, it, it didn't have its own box as such. It, it just had its own um, polythene cover or ziplock I guess you can call it. Um, and yeah, I, I didn't keep the um, the courier box or the postal box. You might have noticed I didn't do that for the previous few unboxings either. Um, since, you know, it passes hands a lot through the postal service and um, especially the ones that have been coming from abroad. They've passed through a lot of hands and um, in this whole virus situation we just um, get rid of those boxes and sanitize the covers as fast as possible. Um, I think in some cases even the stuff inside, um, the covers inside before um, getting our hands on it. Um, and yeah, so this one, let me just explain how it came. Um, the other uh, the other puzzles usually had its own box at least um, inside of the generic box. This one did not have that. It came like this in this zip lock. Um, it was covered with some um, bubble wrap. And outside of that was the generic, um, quite a thick cardboard box. Um, it's not the most safe way to ship something probably, but um, it looks like nothing much has happened. Although I do see that there are some uh, loose pieces down there at the bottom. I'll have to put those in. Um, mostly just center pieces. I do see some corners as well um, that are outside of their places. It also came with this very nice stand. Um, it says very puzzle on it can you guys see that yep very puzzle so that should tell you that this is it's one of my favorite puzzle companies as uh, at least from what I've seen online I haven't actually held one in my hand before before this moment um, this is the very puzzle crazy chopper it's a uh, kind of a, a test um, order you can say because I have my eyes on a little more some more expensive uh, products by them this is um, something a little more low end which I wanted to try out first before um, getting something more expensive from them um, I think I'll just uh, start opening this ziplock here's the unboxing we won't be needing my um, what do you call it I have it nearby but um, looks like this guy is not gonna get much action today I'm gonna leave him <laughs> off to the side Ooh, very nice this is coming all the way from China and now it's on my desk it's not too heavy but it's it's decently heavy it's like <laughs> it feels good it um, doesn't feel too light doesn't feel too heavy that's the kind of feeling that I get um, should I turn it okay maybe I'll, I'll put in the pieces first and just take everything outside I'll tell you what's inside as well there's this sticker set we are with most of the you know very puzzles products we are expected to sticker it ourselves <laughs> they've given a whole bunch of I think there's a lot extra I don't know might be my imagination or maybe not we'll we'll find out in some time and um, here are all the extra pieces that's a lot and no those are not extra those are very much meant to be part of this I hope the lighting's not too bad I'll just um, fit these in Two centers in. 
third center in four centers five centers I think one was already in how many centers are there one two okay so one here one on the opposite end and there's one two three four it's totally six centers as expected and uh, let me put this in i have no idea how this is showing up on camera because uh, it's all black right now oh center just came out again just gonna put that in a little bit more force okay where does this even go okay here i guess so it's gonna look like this hmm. right and this goes um it's supposed to go there i guess it's gonna fall back out immediately because what is this for i think it's supposed to look like this actually i might have to take these back outside and fit it in like this oh okay that's how it goes i don't know if you guys caught that what i did just there okay yeah now it's now it's fine ah <sighs> that feels so good that feels really really good wow i <laughs> I'm really quite taken aback by the way it turns. It is so nice. It feels so good. Wow. I'm just gonna keep turning this for a long time. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think now they are all aligned properly. Um, I'm a little bit speechless right now. I'm just really attracted by the way it turns and I just don't know what to say. So, <laughs> Wow. I can see all the markings clearly. I don't know if you can and I really cannot make out with this lighting. Um, but it looks very good just as it is except this piece keeps falling out what on earth do I do with this how can I make it stay I will we'll figure out something hopefully that has snapped it into place hopefully it'll stay because the rest of them stay in just fine anyway it's just a centerpiece so it's not too bad um, we could probably tighten it a little bit. Oh, no, nah, no need. You know, it's it's fine just as it is, in my opinion. Um, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> still a little bit speechless, as you can see. I, I haven't even begun to describe the movements or anything as such. It says very puzzled here, by the way. Right here, across there. And it says that all over the puzzle, actually. It just says very puzzled all over the place. Um, so this is the crazy chopper it's um it's obviously a very it's a it's a surface puzzle what that means is that there are no deep cuts it's not like the entire shape is going to move or segments are going to move it's just sections of the surface are going to move and those form um the concept of the puzzle um obviously it'll be a lot easier to see it for what it is um, not just right now for me, but also for those watching on camera um, to see it for what it is once it is fully stickered. Before I start off with that, uh, I'll just take a few of these out and show you the shades. This is starting to roll, so I'm going to keep it on its stand where it fits beautifully. Wow. And let me take these out. Wow, you can see that shine, it has that carbon fiber finish to it. Ooh, it feels very, very nice. 
that was me smelling it <laughs> it smells nice too there's light green there's the actual carbon fiber gray there's a purple there's a dark blue maybe i'll put this off to the side while we finish this part here's a dark blue here's orange here is kind of a dirty green here's red brown bright pink it's a, a dark red maroonish color silver beautiful silver and lastly this is you can call it golden or yellow it's a bright yellow or a golden wow that's those shades are beautiful i think it's going to look very nice once it's stickered um i have no idea how i am going to sticker it um probably you know doing it do it by hand uh, i need something you know what maybe this guy is going to have some use today after all um and since i'm not i haven't actually stickered anything before especially not something spherical like this puzzle so i will probably cut off right here and um maybe try and sticker uh one side or one face and of course i have to figure out a kind of pattern that i like what i mean by that is which color goes where i have to sort of figure that out um once i have a plan in mind once i know how to sticker it maybe then i will cut back to the video so yeah okay so i've spent some time on it uh, more than just a few minutes in fact about trying to decide <laughs> which colors to use on this magnificent puzzle and um i also looked at the site about what their suggested stickering scheme was um but i've decided not to go with that because they've um used quite a few colors that i'm not fond of for example straight off the bat um i know that i'm not going to be using brown because i don't like the color brown at all uh so that's out of the picture already and i'm also not going to use pink and i'm going to have to skip two more colors because this can accommodate a total of eight different colors on the same puzzle whereas we had 12 colors going on and um i i like all of the remaining colors but um i have to remove two more so i'm going to take off this dirty green Uh, simply because I think it's not a great color, and I'm gonna have to take off one more, which is gonna be either this or this, because um they look very. This one looks quite similar to this, and this one looks quite similar to this silver. So yeah, one of them's got to go. Um, I don't know which one yet. We can um we can decide, right? Um. So I don't really have much of a plan for the rest of them. I'm just going to lay them out here and see what it looks like. Um maybe maybe I can go with a standard Rubik's cube sort of scheme where um okay, it's going to look like this where there's a red opposite of oh can you see? Okay. Red opposite of orange and a green yikes green opposite of blue how does that look i think it looks just fine okay so i think one side can be this sort of standard scheme and on the other side we need four more um maybe you can consider this as white and i like silver in general so um white okay white would be opposite to yellow um 
what do we use here i'm definitely going to use purple definitely cuz i love this color okay and and lastly okay so it it cannot be this so then it's got to be this right uh yeah it looks fine i think <laughs> um i don't know if it's the best possible scheme but yeah um so this has got to go i guess um or should i just try with this instead where i've got um this here this here okay purple and maroon opposite this yellowish gold in there and on this side or it turned slowly i've got to use silver or this carbon fiber black hmm which one is better which one is better I'm not going to be able to change my mind after I stick it. I mean, I can, I guess. I'm going to go with this. I feel like this looks better and I like silver more than gray in general, so I'm going to go with that. Um the only problem is I just have to test it once about what it'll look like um down down there. What I mean by down there is um what 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 the top and the bottom would look like. Um corresponding to each other let me put that off to the side now that the eight colors are decided um okay so uh this is the sequence here and this is the sequence down here this here and this here okay So these are the sequences. Huh? This would mean that this and this would come next to each other. Okay. This and this would be nearby though, which is not great because they are similar colors. Maybe we will just switch them if that's okay. Um so what does that make this? Uh is this how it looks like on a standard cube uh, cuz i don't want to get confused about the color scheme right let me just grab hold of a standard cube <laughs> i took a long time to complete that sentence okay and okay i didn't grab a standard cube at the end of the day but um it has a standard color scheme so it goes um if i go clockwise it's red blue orange green red blue orange green so this okay this is this actually turned out for the better this is how it should be and on the top i would stick it this way yeah it um seems like a good plan Let me start stickering. I'll come back once I've stickered one side. Okay, so I've done a few of them. Um this is from the bright red portion. Um you can see that um it's not that difficult. Um I did this much pretty much uh, perfectly. Um and even the alignment of the colors seem to be I mean the fibers seem to be fine. But one thing that I'm having second thoughts about is my color selection because as you can see when the bright red is on the black surface this color looks very similar to this maroonish color and i'm a little bit afraid that um it's going to be a little bit difficult to make out which color is which so that's not something that's great i would like to avoid that and for that reason i may end up picking one of these other colors um i'm looking at pink or this ochre green dirty green kind of color that's here but the green might again not be a great idea because um the light green might become darker and conflict with this color so i will mostly end up going either for um the dark brown 
or this pink and I'm gonna have to choose at that point of time. I might just put one of these in, which was my first choice, and see how it looks, whether it's really comparable to this. And if it is, if one of the stickers, you know, after putting one of the stickers, if I feel that it's a little bit too comparable, I might just switch it out for pink. Okay, so now I'm somewhat done with one side. I mean, one color or one face, if you wanna call it that. Um, but I say somewhat, because it isn't complete and can you can you guess why it isn't complete it may not be very apparent from this but i think from uh, the ghost of the stickers it might be a little bit clearer that these tips there are tiny squares here here and here which go over here here and here so on this square there will be four smaller squares of um, red, yellow, purple and silver or whatever color I choose or red, green, blue, orange, whatever you want to call it, right? So there would be those smaller squares. I'm just planning to do it at the end. Um, I didn't rush through this but it wasn't too slow either. You know when, when I first um, saw it online there was actually an option to get it stickered by them uh, and they would send it stickered for just a few dollars extra. I really thought of uh, doing that because I didn't think I would be able to do a good job of stickering because I don't have the most steady hands and I didn't know um, what it would be like to sticker a puzzle when you don't know <laughs> where what's supposed to go or anything. And actually I'm kind of glad I didn't go for that. I mean, first of all, it would, it would take some um, extra time to be delivered um, uh, if, if you go for that option. Um, and also um, there's a whole virus situation so you want it to um, pass through as few hands as possible and it, they, they said that because of that it might take um, a week or two extra if you want it if you want them to sticker it and then send it um, and also I have and this is the main reason I have found it an extremely pleasant experience it's been so cathartic to just sit here in close to silence with just the crickets outside my window and just softly silently doing this it's been so peaceful it felt so good I almost didn't want this to end and I'm glad that there are seven more to do and I really don't want that experience to end at all so um I, I'm just thinking that maybe I will record myself doing the rest of it even though I'm obviously no expert but it's come out okay but I'll be going through this very slowly I'll be taking my time uh, you can obviously just skip to the end if you just want to see how it turns and if you're not interested in the stickering. Um, but I I'm just going to leave it there in case any of you are interested in seeing it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so here goes then. Um, I'll just uh, sort out this my workspace a little bit and then I'll be back. But before that, oh, one more thing I wanted to say. Um, they seem to have given extra stickers. There are a few lying here and there. Um, yeah, I guess it's probably in case something tears or something goes wrong though of course obviously um, the carbon fiber alignment would be out of whack if we try to do that which is why I went for the main um, the perfect section right there uh, but I, I just think it's nice that they didn't waste the sticker space they actually um, thought to use it well by adding a few extra dummy stickers just in case something goes wrong I mean even if the carbon fiber alignment is out of out of um, alignment, it something's better than having no sticker. So I think that's thoughtful. That's nice of them. Um, yeah, I'll just sort out my workspace and be right back. I'm back, and um, like I said, this is I'm going to take my time. This is going to be very slow, almost painfully slow. So I hope you will bear with me on that. Um, and I've also decided um, to go with green to the right of red and that was as planned. I'm gonna make the, uh, I mean there's no alignment of the carbon fibers that is gonna align exactly with how the red was. So I'm just gonna go with something that's exactly the opposite of how the red was. Um, see the one that's the most perpendicular so that it, it looks the opposite alignment. Um, I, I think that will look nice for each different color. So yeah, here goes.
I want this to be as bubble free as possible. That's why I'm taking my time and uh, pressing down on each sticker as much as I can to get all the bubbles out before laying it down every every tiny bit I don't know why but my I'm just um, unconsciously my voice is going softer almost like this is a, a sacred <laughs> a sacred thing happening it's very very peaceful believe me This piece almost didn't want to come out. <sighs> Sometimes there's a little bit of dust or grime which you just wanna get out. I wonder maybe I should just do that tiny square right away. How do I get it out of there though? <laughs> I'm just thinking of doing it right away so that I don't forget which square goes where and in what alignment because I want this to be as as perfect as I could make it. There's no harm in trying. Okay. Is that fine? Or do I need to take it off and put it back again? Uh, I think it's more or less fine. Slightly small bubble, but it's fine for the most part. It's what it looks like. I think it's fine. Let's move on to the next bit. It's this um, trapezoidal section. I feel so good doing this. I don't know how many of you all are still watching or enjoying this as much as I am while I'm doing this. Um, it's just so peaceful. Mm. Yeah, just to keep the alignment keep them pointing the same way so that I never lose track of which way I'm supposed to turn next mm. Mm. you need to have fairly steady hands to do this I 
I must admit, I don't have the most. I don't have the steadiest pair of hands. Fingers are quite long and clumsy for the most part. That doesn't stop me from trying and doing my best here. For a moment, I thought there was a bubble in that, but it's fine. Oh, it's the other way. Like this. little bit difficult to get the middle piece out. <laughs> Gonna have to use this knife to okay, got it. Mm, which way does it go? Not that way. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like this. Try and make this the best that we can for that it has to be right on the tip. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Hmm. This one. Next.
you know what to be absolutely honest uh, maybe even a little bit ridiculous i want to say that this stickering experience in itself is <laughs> is well worth the money it's like putting together a jigsaw puzzle except you already know where all the pieces go and each piece is just purely satisfying I'll do this piece next. The sticker, I mean. I'm already thinking of it like a jigsaw puzzle. That's why I said piece instead of sticker. Maybe I'll put that tip next. Mm, this is the one. Oops. In some ways it looks like a basketball. <laughs> I think it's the design of it. Is this how it is? Uh, no, it isn't. It is like... Mm, like this. <laughs> right. There's a bit of dust there. Which I don't like. Not perfect, but yeah. <laughs> that was me just checking it against the light to see if the alignment of the carbon fibers was okay. Does it feel like um, this gap is too much? I don't know, sometimes I feel like it's too much from some angles. <clears throat> then maybe it's okay. I think a little bit is okay. For the last section. Ooh, I screwed up. <laughs> can it can it be saved? Let's drag it along the no. I might have to take this off. Please be okay. <laughs> I guess stuff like that happens. Let me just straighten out the tip as best as I can. Well, it's not a complete disaster. <laughs> okay, 
Let's try this again. There it is. That's, that's better. Hope it stays down. It was only a, a little bit off, but like I said, I I just want this to be as perfect as it could be. Because, of course, solving this is something that we can always do again and again and again. But stickering this is a one-time opportunity. So, let's... I just want to relish it. percent power left on my phone hmm. interesting there's a bit of a <laughs> misalignment there oh I think it's because um, because the paper is two-dimensional while the sphere is curved so they have uh, made the design in such a way that this alignment is going to be as perfect as it could be from there and so that's amazing and thoughtful how is it? is it this way? yeah it's this way I'm always a little bit confused about which way to put it I think this is right is it though? <laughs> Certainly not sure. No, it's the other way. It's the opposite way, right? I think now it's... Both of them look fine, to be honest. I think either one's okay. I have to... Ooh. I need to put it against the corner, otherwise the alignment might be a little bit off. Alright, there we go. These tiny ones are the trickiest. This and that little triangle in the middle are quite tricky. So we're done with two now. That looks gorgeous, doesn't it? <laughs> Gonna go with orange next. Very nice color. I don't know whether I should record myself doing this or not. I might just speed it up or I might leave it in. I don't know yet. I'll I guess I'll just record it just to be safe. I've got to select a configuration which makes it as much opposite 
to this as I possibly can. This one is going almost, almost exactly the same direction. Oh, you know what? I think maybe it was possible to make them all go the same way. No, it wouldn't. Okay. <laughs> I just... I was just questioning my life decisions for a moment there. But no, uh, it's best to go as opposite as possible. That would be like this. Okay, got it. Or is this better? You know what? This is better. I'm gonna go with this actually. <laughs> That's how quickly I can change my mind. Wasn't the best. It was decent. I wonder if there's a way to tighten these. It's a little bit loose, aren't they? Pretty sure by now no one's watching. Because this is probably very boring to someone who is not actually doing it. I mean, why would anyone watch this? I have absolutely no idea why anyone would want to watch this. But, uh, well, the thing is, someday I might want to watch it and relive the entire experience, so. I don't even know if I'm gonna speed this up. Probably not. One of the main reasons why I was waiting for this puzzle was because I wanted to do a, a collection video. <clears throat> this is my 58th puzzle in my whole collection. Yeah, it's 
I'm going to sing. This is my 58th puzzle. <laughs> and since this is something that that I was expecting would look nice and certainly does from what I've seen so far. I wanted to include it in my first collection video. I think that most of you who are watching, I mean, um, five or six of you, whoever's there, you You've probably already seen my collection to some extent because um, I've kept it as my display picture on WhatsApp <laughs> for one whole day. <sighs> I don't usually keep display pictures, although I've had one for a while, which is a fairly nice picture of me. I don't have that many nice pictures of myself. Yeah, I've kept that for a while. And yes, I kept my Rubik's Cube collection as my display picture for one day. I'm getting a little bit faster, aren't I? There's something. Oh, hmm. it's just a branch brushing against my window. It sounded like something growling. Thought it was a dog or something, or a cat scratching around. There's a family of cats living outside. By family, I mean uh, one mother cat and its three kittens. The kittens grew up really, really fast. <laughs> they were tiny when they first um, moved in, so to speak. I just put up a couple of videos of them playing. There's this uh, quite uh, strong um, shrub, I guess you can call it. This plant with a sturdy stem outside, right outside my window. That's the one that was making the noise. 
and um, that's the one that these kittens really love to jump on and climb on because it has a few branches and it has a few stunts in the in the growth of the stem well, by stunt I mean you know bends and things in the stem so it's they enjoy climbing on it and jumping between the branches they don't like me watching though <laughs> But when my window is closed, they can't, they can't hear me, so I can watch all I like. They don't even realize that I'm just a couple of feet away from them. Because they don't really bother to look through the window un unless I make a sound. I wonder if this is one of the slowest possible ways to sticker one of these. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it though. I'm not kidding. Let me just check the alignment. Yeah. Oops. Is that okay? Yeah, it seems okay. I might just keep this as a separate video. I don't know, does that seem like a good idea? alignment against the light ones and yeah we are good to go I wonder what time it is. It's probably very late in the night. Uh, okay, I suppose it goes this way. Yeah. I suppose it does. be a little closer to the tip. Okay. No, it's probably okay. <laughs> Struggling a lot with these smaller ones. Uh, no, it's not perfect. 
Yikes. It's going to take that off before I press it in. Yikes. No, no, no. Get off. Go up. <laughs> that didn't go so well. So I'm going to try again. Red now, I just finish it off. I wonder. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's best. Instead of leaving that for last, I will just do that right away. Some air bubbles. No, I'm not very good at doing the um, I'm not very good at the tiny ones. Gotta be closer to the center than to the outside. There it is. Now I just press it in. Perfect. Now it's perfect. Okay. Go for this one, which <laughs> interesting. Well, there's one more reason why I'm really happy today it's because I I just got a promotion and oh whoops this is here I guess uh oh is this here? No, I thought it was here. It's supposed to be here. Yeah, it is here. Let's get some of that dust off. It is not there. I mean, it can just be there and probably no one would notice, but I don't want to do that. I want this to be perfect and I want to know that it's perfect. Or as close to perfect as it can be. Mm. 
Is that better? Yeah. Kind of slide that into place. It wants to come out. The entire piece just wants to come out. Okay. Now it's in place. Now for the last one. These tiny uh, pieces are taking the most time. Way more than the inner pieces, the larger ones. How does this go? I may have switched these two. I probably have. It's gonna take it off. Put it there. I had a feeling. I thought it would be okay, that it wouldn't be so noticeable. And yeah, it isn't noticeable at all. I don't think anybody would have picked up on it. But um, like I said, this is a once in a lifetime chance to sticker this specific puzzle. So I'm gonna do that's a lot better yes that is how it should be now for this one mm. it'll be this way okay got it it's really hard to figure that out Okay, no, it's the other way around. He's gonna drag it into place with this, with this knife, with the badass knife. You now it's twisted ninety. That's three done. These three done. Now for blue. Which way do we go? Hmm. 
not gonna go this way. Okay, mm. I'll go this way because it's too similar to this one. So I'm gonna go this way then. Makes sense. Thing about the point behind um, doing them all different directions, each color a different direction, is that when the light falls on it, at least one of the colors would shine. And not all would shine at the same time, which is um, something that's desirable. probably sleep soon <laughs> but I don't feel like sleeping at all I just wanna keep doing this forever Probably just fill in that tiny square right away before I forget. It's this way. Hmm, using my nail is a good idea there. It is a good idea to use the nail right there. Ah. There's no point using the nail that it was gonna come off at my next slide anyway. Um, yeah, that looks about right. Come on now. gonna leave that there like that then is it fine or not I think it's fine yeah that's fine it's not a 100% perfect but uh, I think it's okay for what it is I'll probably uh, take a nap, not just a nap, I will probably go to sleep after this blue because it's getting really late and I have to work in the morning. So, 
as much as I would love to just sit and do this all night long I am not going to because I am a responsible individual who is sensible sensible enough to know when to stop mm. I really really hope that I will have the willpower to stop after blue because otherwise I'm gonna be in trouble I just absolutely love the texture of these. I don't know if you're getting the full effect of it through the camera. But I am absolutely relishing every single bit of this. okay that's not bad there's a long long way to go I really really hope that I have the sense to go to sleep after this after this color is done mm, I like this blue okay, it looks very nice even though it's close to the black color of the plastic mm. and this way oh it's this way This time I hope that my nail technique doesn't go in vain. Okay, yeah, okay. I was a little bit unsure for a moment. 
Okay, next is this one. I wonder how long this video is. It's probably a couple of hours already. Hope I'm not going off camera. <laughs> I've been silent for a while. So he's gonna say something. <laughs> Just to break the silence. Nope, nope, nope. Need to take this off. This one could be okay. was a little bit careless right then Just three more and then I feel like these pieces are the easiest They just sort of almost always just they're in place they're easy to 
Please do make them fall into place for some reason. Of course, the most difficult are, are these guys. Tiny ones. I shook the camera. Oh, that's not going to work either. It's going to have to come this way. Okay. Oh, that looks absolutely fantastic. <laughs> it's back to its position. doesn't it? Let's move it all the way back now before I lose my bearings. Okay, so I'm back. It's the next day, about 24 hours after the previous section and um, I'm done with four. Here's what I've got so far. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? And um, so I've decided to go with purple um, and then yellow above the red and then pink next to the blue yeah I'm gonna go with pink it's okay and then silver next to the orange that's what I'm gonna go with Not gonna waste any time, just gonna jump right into it. 
So which way do I put this in? I do it this way. Maybe even this way. I think this is fine. Have I gotten faster at this? Little bit, maybe. Maybe just a little bit. Yeah, these parts. Don't really take much time, it's only the tiny pieces that take time. I think purple goes very nicely right next to the green. It's a perfect place. I think that um, next to orange, it's not just, um, of course blue is perfect. Uh, it's not just uh, silver that would go well, it's also purple. And also brown. Brown goes well with orange, but um, I didn't want it to be dull colors at all. I want, I want this to be as bright as possible so that the colors are easily seen and where is it? Oh, for a moment I thought I screwed up. Difficult piece now. 
get that on there and slowly just slide it on I guess does it look fine hmm, not bad okay it should have been a little more to the right can I take it off now <laughs> ah. I do not like having to deal with these small squares Come on, move, move, move. Whoops. Whoops, again. Okay. Now it's somewhat fine. I mean, that's, that's good enough, to be honest. I'll do maybe a round of checking at the very end. Maybe then I'll correct the ones that are way too off or something like that. Yeah, this is this is very long actually. It's way too long to put in put up on YouTube all the way through. I'll have to cut it down or speed it up but I'm obviously gonna save a copy of the pure thing the raw thing just for my own <laughs> satisfaction Please be okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I was worried for a moment. I've learned one thing. I mean, it's not a learning or anything, it's not a lesson, it's just a, a tip that it's better to pick um, puzzles that have less number of small stickers because they really do take away a little bit from the experience of the stickering it can become a little bit frustrating to be honest I mean, not, not frustrating it's just it just takes away from the experience a little bit just what I feel personally
I can see from the side that um, the purple and the green are really complementing each other very very well I'll show you just after these last two stickers these stickers are really good quality by the way I have to say it really good quality and yeah you can see how the purple and the green are beautiful right What was to go here? It was yellow, wasn't it? Oh, will yellow be better here? Mm, not at all. Yellow is better here. Right. Yep. There's more of a contrast that way. This way cannot be this way. It's got to be this way. Yellow is brighter than I thought. It's looking almost golden. It's a nice color. My laptop is making sounds in the background. I've put a process for running and there's a build in progress. So I just thought, why waste the time, since I'm up anyway, might as well. Do something productive. I mean, I must ask myself the question, I'm really enjoying doing this, but is it, is it productive? Can it really be counted as something productive or yeah, how does where does entertainment fit in the spectrum of productivity that's a it's a good question for sure
Oh, I'm confused about which way this goes because I can't see the... Oh my gosh, I cannot see. Uh. Hmm. Nope. I put it at the right angle. It was perfect in all senses except that it was sideways so I had to do it again. I didn't realize this, but yellow and purple also complement each other very well.
Seems about right. And there it is. Very nice. Something that I just thought of or noticed was that these pieces are never going to move. <laughs> They're never going to be separated. The central pieces, I mean, the square, tiny pieces. Those are the centers of a face, so they can they can certainly rotate. And the pieces around them can move in relation to them. But they themselves are never going to move from their spot. So essentially what they do is, they those pieces are marking out which color goes where basically yellow has turned out absolutely gorgeous mm. okay goes this way whoa that about <laughs> the piece just flew off into the ether <laughs> the good thing is 
think it's easier to um, adjust the sticker when it's like this. The blue is something I put in yesterday, so it might not be easy to do that, but... Oh, okay. Hmm. Somewhat there. There's a bird making a weird howling sound. Just as I finished yellow. Looks very nice so far. Next. I'm gonna do silver next. <clears throat> I'm gonna put um, pink last. Oopsie. Oops. Saying. I'm gonna put in pink last because that's the color that I almost didn't want to put in so um, since I almost didn't want to put it in I'm just gonna give myself a chance to rethink just in case you know This goes against the grain of purple, but it goes with orange. This goes almost exactly with purple, so I can't use this. What about this? It goes against purple. <clears throat> and somewhat against orange, so... Maybe this is the one. Sorry for my voice, I have a bit of a cold. And a throat ache. I really hope it's um, that it's okay and it's not an infection <clears throat> and that it's certainly not a viral infection of some sort you know what I mean I'm sure you know exactly what I mean That is pretty much everyone's worry these days, everyone's first thought. Do you remember the time when the virus was something that was something very far away? And it was only in China. I know most of you remember that period of time, don't you? different things were back then would you have behaved a little different at that time compared to now if you had known how the world would be in a few months
is a very familiar smell in the air right now where I am it's a mixture of smoke almost like burning smoke or cigarette smoke both mixed together sort of and I think the smell of the stickers is mixed in with that and also the smell of the cold if you know what that is you know in cold times there's a particular smell hmm. this one wasn't a hundred percent perfect but um, I think it's okay it's possible and uh, I was talking about the smell it reminded me of Budapest in Hungary I was just um, reminiscing a lot of things. Specifically, the smell was from this place right outside office. Oh, my um, I went there on business, so I had an office there outside that building. This was the smell. Because um, there were people selling stuff like food. So. And uh, since it was very cold, they would need. fires within their shops, their roadside stalls or shops, to keep the cooking going. And that fire, along with the smell of people smoking, along with the general smell of the air when it's cold, just remember that smell right now because everything just came together along with a very posh smell I think it's a smell of the air conditioning inside several of the um, several of the buildings I'm really enjoying myself I wish I could explain or describe it properly 
I just feel so peaceful doing this and just talking to myself. I'm thinking a lot, it's given me a lot of time to just think, you know, for a lot of things, memories mostly, it feels good sometimes, just reminiscing, ruminating, <laughs> it feels good sometimes that okay let's see if I can't just put it in there directly yeah I can't it was a good try, I guess. It's not very good on the whole. So I'm gonna have to... Mm. this side is done. I just wonder right now whether I should have used this instead of silver. No, I like brighter colors. It's more visible. I think it's good that I'm going with pink as a last color because it's a lot more bright than the red which I was initially intending I mean even the bright red has become a little bit dull uh, I mean it's not dull by any sense of the word um, not even this blue is dull it looks very nice it's just that it's darker than um, than expected than what is um, you see, it, when it's on the sticker sheet, it has a, a white background, so it appears to be a lighter shade than it actually is um, going to appear on a black surface like this sphere. or the last color okay so I think once again a little bit was missed this time it's because um, my phone ran out of space and I didn't notice that that um, <laughs> that uh, the recording had stopped so uh, basically I puzzled over the final color a little bit I um, I kicked out um, the dirty green and um, this one the carbon fiber color because they were too similar and uh, no the dirty green I just didn't like it didn't go well with the rest of the thing either 
it just didn't fit so that was already out this one I didn't select it because it's way too similar to this silver the red is almost exactly the same color as the other red um, so it was down to these two and I really really thought about brown because uh, if you look at it it does look okay you know from most of the angles it does look okay the only thing is it's it's a dull color it doesn't jump out at you and so it's not as attractive and I figured that even though pink is looking way too bright um, once it's on the black surface it might not be so bright and hence um, hence it might look the best of among the two at least between the two so that's what I'm doing right now I'm gonna do the pink I'm just gonna sticker it all the way and so far it looks promising and I'm just gonna see what it looks like once I'm done with this much and then I can always take it off if I don't like it and sticker it again with brown because I know the brown will look good as well and I'm not doing the small squares uh, not yet at least because in case I don't like it and I have to take it off I want as little effort to be wasted <laughs> because it's uh, it is a huge effort to put in those tiny stickers I don't know if you heard me say it, but I have really enjoyed this stickering experience. Because I love to just sit and think while doing something idly in the background. That's why I like jigsaw puzzles. I can think. gives me something to do that's just enough intellectual food at the same time it doesn't take up all of your conscious um, energy I was just thinking about random stuff from the past, mostly memories. I was reminiscing and ruminating over a lot of things. It's really fun to do that sometimes. Hmm. So far, so good. I'm liking the pink color. I never thought I would say those words aloud. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually liking the pink color. It is a little bit bright for my taste. I know, I said I wanted bright colors to be on this puzzle, but... Pink is the wrong kind of bright in most cases for me, but I think here it looks all right. I was just wondering um, how would it be if there were 
more number of stickers i mean this is just eight only eight colors and i'm already so puzzled over which ones to select <laughs> spoiled for choice as they say i mean it's better than them having um made the choice for us it's always better to be spoiled for choice than to not have the choice at all that's something that we sometimes take for granted don't we yeah i'm going to have to redo this one oh please come off easy straighten that the corner of that sticker then I'm gonna let's try again take two Hopefully be fine. Yes it is. It's not perfect but it's better than last time. It's way better than last time. That's good enough. I feel like these could have been a little bit longer, would have maintained the length of thing, or I could have just stickered it a little bit less to the side. But I think it's, it's mostly okay. And uh, from the looks of it, uh, I think I'll be keeping the pink, at least for now. I wonder if brown would be better. No, I'm gonna stick with pink. That's for sure. So, before I move ahead, let me finish off. Pink, tiny sticker. Come on. That didn't work. I'm gonna have to push this. Oh, yes. Right. All right. All right. Again, it isn't perfect, but I think that's the best it can be, so.
Oh, that was an almost perfect lay down <laughs> on the very first try. Except this is gone right now. That small sticker has come out of where it's supposed to be. last four. This is the home stretch. <laughs> will it, will it, will it? Yes, it will. Carefully. Um, and a little bit to this side. No, don't fall. Okay. And up a little bit. And that should be fine. That's a lock. Last piece. <sighs> Isn't that wonderful? There it is. That's the puzzle. <laughs> I cannot believe it. It's finally done. It is finally done. <sighs> you know, when you sticker it yourself, you have this immense respect for it suddenly. So, um, the way I see it, some faces can be turned 90 degrees and then you can start turning it again. But then some other faces, for example this one, I cannot just turn it 90 degrees because now this won't move. This won't move. This has to be rotated a full 180 before I can rotate again. Okay, so. This is a spherical transformation of a face and an edge turning puzzle. Um, both of which I usually prefer more than corner turners, although edge turners can be extremely tricky. Um, a face turner would be a generic puzzle like the Rubik's Cube or as I've got here. Um, this is a Fisher Cube but it's still a, a face turner because it's all the faces that move and as for edge turners I don't have one with me right now I might leave this for another video 
the um, explanation of how to do this um, because I would like to have the edge and the face turners with me on hand to show you the correlations but as of now isn't this absolutely beautiful I'm gonna do a few turns can see what I've done here just swapped these two um, I'll just move it back now and so here we are back to normal just gonna leave it there thank you guys it's been an amazing experience I don't know how many of you sat through all of that uh, I don't even think I'll put up the entire thing um, at least not public I'll probably keep it private or something I'm already yawning uh, because I'm a little bit tired it's very very late in the night but um, I don't regret this at all. I have enjoyed every single bit of this. I'm a little bit disappointed that it's over. I want this to continue. Anyway, see you.